Hey guys, Redneck Wannabe here. I hope all is well with you and your family today. So I don't know about y'all, but my grandmother grew up in the Depression. And I remember when I was a kid, uh, man, she would keep, you know, she'd have a screw and she'd throw it in her little coffee tin and, and she would say, you know, I may need that one day. And as a kid, I would think, you know, and then I'd tell her, I'm like, Graham, just, just throw it away. And if you need another one, you can just go to the store and get it. And I, and I just didn't understand that, uh, or I didn't understand her uh, her thinking. And But I've come to understand it, and I've come to try to live my life uh, as, as far as waste not, want not. And that goes for uh, seed planting as well. So back in the 1st of February, I planted uh, all my tomatoes because I wanted just a huge... Number one, I wanted a huge amount of tomatoes. Number two, I thought if I plant them in February, by the time mid mid March, first of April comes around, they're going to be pretty pretty big. Uh, some of them were, some of them weren't. So um, I'll have another video um, on that. I'm experimenting with different types of, of potting soils, and so I'll put that out later whenever whenever I finish it up. But that being said, um, you know, let's just say I wanted 20 tomato plants. Well, I planted 25 because I thought. Um, you know, I'm going to lose a couple and I just don't want to waste my seed, you know, waste not, want not. But what happened was I planted here, uh, I planted 31 tomatoes, I think it was. And literally, I think I have like 12 left because uh, from, from planting uh, to a day or two later, I'm not sure if it was cutworms or what. Um, but they, you know, I lost them. So one of the things, you know, note to self is plant more than I need because I can always, you know, compost them, hopefully sell them. But I, there's, there's always something that, that could be done with them. The second thing is what I learned uh, this year. Well, actually, I guess I, I learned it last year because I think I planted the tomatoes, I don't remember, middle February late February something like that because I don't know about y'all but when I plant my tomatoes I want those big daddies you know that you buy at the uh, um, uh, at the at the feed store you know they're about a foot to 18 inches tall that's what I wanted and so um, you know planting that late didn't happen so I thought well I'll just plant on the first of February well still didn't happen and I'll show you so this is one of the tomatoes that I planted the first of February that is one of the tomatoes that I planted 1st of February as well. I'm going to repot this because there's two in there, but I just don't know um, why there's such a drastic difference in those two. And so what I've learned this year is, number one, plant way, way more than I need because, you know, frost or bugs or incompetence or whatever, I'm going to lose... Uh, I'm gonna lose some and then uh, the second thing is I'm gonna have to plant these tomatoes About the first of January, I think to get them, you know, cuz I want the the big honkers the big daddies um, And so I think I'm just gonna have to plant plant more and plant earlier So that's the big takeaway that I've learned so far in the gardening uh, season and we, we haven't even started yet so uh, but anyway, you can see you know, here's one tomato, and there's one. All right, so I've got one tomato, two tomatoes, right, right there. So I've got two tomatoes in that row, one tomato in this row. So, you know, incompetence, bugs, who knows what it was, but I'm going to have to start over. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Y'all take care. Bye.